women who get together with other women are healthier, happier, and stronger. Now we can make some figure eights with our hips. Figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight. Woo! By the time I met Mickey, I had already contemplated suicide and I was developing a plan. That's how dark my life had gotten. Because I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Hello, Hagerstown, woo! So I have to tell you, I am hula hooping today because Dr. Ellen Langer from Harvard University says that it's going to make improve my health and make me look 10 years younger. Yay! But, but uh, really, she didn't say exactly that, but um, I, I might have exaggerated a little bit or maybe extrapolated it from the data. But what she did say in the study she did, uh, it was called counterclockwise. She, did a, uh, she brought a group of men, 70 to 80 years of age, to the campus. And she, um, they all underwent a series of tests. They had their blood pressure taken, their respiratory function, pulmonary function, um, their hearing and their stride length, and they also had their photograph taken. And uh, the men were then divided into two groups. One group of men went and stayed in these dorms that had been retrofitted to look just like they did when they were on campus there. They had the big fat bottom, black bottom di rotary dial telephones. They had posters from the musicians of the day. They were uh, movie stars of the day. They had magazines from their era. They had actually pictures of the men in their prime posted all over uh, and in frames all over the dorms. The other group of men, they went and stayed in a dorm that was uh, not in any way reminiscent of their youth. They lived in these environments for two weeks. After two weeks, the men came back and they were reassessed. The same exact tests were done. Does anybody have a guess what the results showed? Anybody? What the, the, the men in the dorm that where they reconnected with their younger selves had much better test results. They improved on every single measure. Their vision, their hearing, their respiratory function, their uh, stride length increased. And, the real, and they actually took photographs and they said the men looked 10 years younger. So I'm not really saying if you hula hoop you're going to look 10 years younger, but this became the basis for uh, a kind of uh, therapy called reminiscent therapy. So the idea is uh, reconnecting with your younger self actually improves your health and your outlook. So keep that in mind as you go forward. Um, today, speaking of hula hooping, we have today with us Simon Kazravian. She is a hula hooping fitness expert and she's going to be showing her hula hooping stuff and inviting some of you to join in on the fun. In honor of National Reconciliation Month, we have Milagros Phillips. She's here to talk to us about the incredible ability, her incredible desire to move and heal our country's racial divide. She has two programs, uh, Race Demystified and Race Literacy, and she's going to be talking about those programs and bringing uh, in a way that is just full of compassion and understanding and moving us forward. We also have our poet laureate, Takesh Martinez. Takesh is sharing a poem about hurt and healing and reconciliation today. Not only that, Milagros Phillips, uh, uh, not only that, Morgan Plummer, who is a life coach, She's going to be talking about and sharing information on her life journey and how we, she can um, address what holds us back from fulfilling our real dreams in life. So before we take a commercial break, I just want to thank you all for being here and also thank our sponsors, Meredith Health, Antietam Broadband, uh, Smart TV, Steady Entertainment, and of course, the Women's Club who are hosting today's um, show. We'll be right back after this commercial break. How do you help people in three states breathe easier? Make sure they can be seen faster and easier. Just for you, more primary care physicians, PAs, and nurse practitioners. Meritus, healthcare transformed. How do you give a patient healthier healthcare? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus, healthcare transformed. The Humane Society of Washington County offers refuge to domestic animals in need, animals like Romeo. Starved and abandoned in the bitter cold, Romeo is not the first animal found in this desperate condition, and he won't be the last. You can help give innocent animals another chance. 
Even a $10 monthly donation can help the Humane Society of Washington County act quickly to save lives. Can the animals count on you? Visit hswcmd.org to learn more. I'm a drug mule from the cartel. You were never a real father. I was on the road 60 hours a week to provide for this family. Sorry, sweetie, I can't stay if he's here. I didn't deserve compassion. I didn't deserve forgiveness. Family's the most important thing. This is the last one, so help me God. The Mule. Rent it now on demand. Digital customers, tune to Channel One to get started. If you add it up, 12 spots a year for 25 years, close to 300 different commercials I've used Antietam Cable Production for. In, in terms of, of the experience with the production department, you know, the truth is you know, we've become friends because we've done it so often. The staff is very, very professional. Uh, they make it easy for me to do the spot. That's the biggest thing. And we, we have a lot of fun doing it. And it works. It brings people to the dealership. And that's all I can ask. Any home can be improved by better Wi-Fi. That's why Antietam Broadband offers smart Wi-Fi, a reliable signal throughout your home enhanced by an array of features. We optimize your network through smart modem placement and ensure maximum coverage for all your devices. And a handy app lets you monitor network performance, access parental controls, and more. Improve your home with Antietam Smart Wi-Fi. Call or visit AntietamBroadband.com to learn more. Deep down, you know this true. Superheroes and supervillains are real. You can't beat the beast! We'll show the world what we are capable of. Don't do this. Are you ready? Glass. Digital customers, tune to Channel One to get started. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels, on demand and streaming video with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home. Welcome to the ultimate TV experience. Call or visit AntietamBroadband.com to change everything with TiVo. When you elevate nurses, you reduce an entire town's blood pressure. Specialized medical training means top nurses, top care. Meritus. Healthcare. Transformed. How do you give a patient healthier health care? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus. Healthcare. Transformed. Welcome back. Welcome back to Prime Time for Women. It is Takesha time, one of my favorite times. But before we bring Takesha out to read one of her original poems, let's check in with her and find out what's going on in her life. Please give Takesha a warm welcome to the stage. Okay. So Takesha, I know that you have a lot of exciting things going on in your life, and I thought maybe you could share a little bit about what's happening for you. Absolutely. So well, I decided to write a book, a novel in 10 days. I started on Monday. I'm writing eight hours a day, um, and also walking five miles a day, so that kind of, it's about discipline. Um, and it is called Let Me Finish. It is about my return back to Hagerstown and establishing a, a, a platform for poets. All right, that sounds great. And, and you have, uh, you've been asked to be a, a lead speaker, a major presenter at an upcoming conference, is yes, that correct? Yes, the, the, the Bright Futures Youth Matters Conference for the Washington County Department of Social Services asked me to be the keynote speaker this year, but I seen it in an email, <laughs> like Takesha is the keynote speaker, so they didn't really <laughs> ask me, they kind of just put my name there, and I'm part of the planning and stuff, and I didn't make it to that meeting, so I kind of found out that I'm the keynote that way. And maybe you could also tell a little bit about why they asked you. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's for their in-care youth, for their foster care kids, and I was a part of the independent living program when I was a teenager, so I have gone back to consult um, the, the foster care um, 
program, and they asked me to be the keynote speaker because I facilitate their Youth Advisory Council um, meetings. Yes. And, and one of the things Takesha shared with me is she said, I feel like because of my experience, I really had the opportunity to speak uh, my truth and that they can hear it from me because I've shared this with them. So I think that's so wonderful. I'm glad you're here. Yes. And was there one other thing that uh, you were talking about um, we yes. were going to do? Yes. So Imagine Hagerstown um, is the arts festival that's going to be happening. The city of Hagerstown is doing four weekends of the arts. Um, and it's the four weekends in June. And each Saturday afternoon, I'll be on the arts trail. They're building a platform stage out there. I'll be on the arts trail with some other poets doing spoken word. But on June 15th is the best of um, Hub City. It's a showcase at the Maryland Theater. And I'm the spoken word um, highlight for that, for that event. So you don't want to miss that. Okay, Takesha, would you share your poem for today? Yes. If saving, the, if saving the future means shooting life into you with love laced bullets of spit, then I'm down for it, with an attempt to make your heart bleed in order to receive the seed. And I know looking within be hard, seeing the internal scars are hard and stone hard. We have fears of sharing, fears of caring, and giving too much away. News flash, fear doesn't save the day. It hinders and holds us back. And poverty isn't the demon we need to attack, greed is. Poverty exists because of lack of faith. So at the very least, we could always give hope away. So what's the process necessary for growth? Can giving add value to our worth? Can we create and give birth to dreams and visions and stay on love-driven missions? Following requires submission and we always want to lead. Forgetting a sacrifice for our peace may require the sowing of a seed or the doing of a kind deed to one of our brothers and sisters in need. There's power in being of service, intentional and on purpose. We somehow must re-begin, no longer just existing and resisting the word, choosing to feed off negativity and exhaling toxic energy. If we would just resist the urge to purge judgments and uncompassionate reactions, forgetting how things can just happen. And just like that in the blink of an eye our focus off our growth and pride becomes our guide how quickly we forget our own design our, in our inconsistencies and flaws we cover and hide with stuff never having enough we don't want to give too much not even love but just imagine what would happen if the absolute max was naturally only five minutes to hold a grudge Keisha, that was wonderful, and I, I think it just really resonates with so many. I heard some lots of little cl clicks out there and snaps, so thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back with our next guest. Let's uh, give uh, to Keisha a warm welcome before we take our next commercial. How do you help people in three states breathe easier? Make sure they can be seen faster and easier. Just for you, more primary care physicians, PAs, and nurse practitioners. Meritus. Healthcare transformed. How do you give a patient healthier healthcare? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus Healthcare transformed. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels, on demand, and streaming video with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home. Welcome to the ultimate TV experience. Call or visit AntietamBroadband.com to change everything with TiVo. Antietam Broadband brings you a unique new program that tells the story of the Battle of Antietam in a different way. Antietam, A Soldier's View, takes you hour by hour and places you into the areas where they fought. Antietam, A Soldier's View airs Mondays through Wednesdays and Saturdays and Sundays only on Antietam Broadband's Channel 6 and 806. If you add it up, 12 spots a year for 25 years, close to 300 different commercials I've used Antietam Cable Production for. In, in terms of, of the experience with the production department, you know, the truth is you know, we've become friends because we've done it so often. The staff is very, very professional. Uh, they make it easy for me to do the spot. That's the biggest thing. And we, we have a lot of fun doing it. And it works. It brings people to the dealership. 
And that's all I can ask. When you elevate nurses, you reduce an entire town's blood pressure. Specialized medical training means top nurses, top care. Meritus. Healthcare. Transformed. How do you give a patient healthier health care? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus. Healthcare. Transformed. Welcome back to Prime Time for Women, the show for and about women in their prime. It is my pleasure to introduce Milagros Phillips. Milagros is an author, teacher, uh, a presenter, and she also hosts a TV show called Race Healer TV. She has spent the last 25 years of her life teaching a program called Race Literacy to educational, political, and corporate leaders. Please welcome Milagros Phillips to the stage. So thank you so much for being here thank today. Thank you for inviting me. So um, I know I didn't say, but you've written how many books? Three books. OK. And yeah. what are the titles of those books? Uh, so the first one is 11 Reasons to Become Race Literate. The second one is Eight Essentials to a Race Conversation. And the third one is Speaking Race in Healthcare. That's great. So Milagros has taken one of the most difficult topics of our time and um, turned it into an opportunity to learn, understand, and inspire and transform. And Milagros, um, you, you were saying uh, when we were talking that um, your, this has been your life work to bring this to uh, different formats. And you're, here you are uh, after you've been on TV and speaking to Congress. Tell us what brought you, why, why did you agree to be here with us in Hagerstown, Maryland today? Well, for me, um, the issue of race is global. So I'll go anywhere that someone wants to have a conversation on race. And I'm so happy to be here with all of you. I am grateful to Bernadette for inviting me. And I'm really excited to have this conversation with all of you. So hopefully you'll ask questions and, and participate. Because it really does need to be a conversation. And it needs to be a conversation that's based on compassion and based on understanding. So um, I can talk a little bit more about why that is. And I was going to ask you, can you tell us how this journey began for you? What was, do you? Was there a moment in your life when you said, ah, this is what I'm going to do. This is my calling. Actually, yes and no. <laughs> So I got my calling when I, actually I got my calling at birth, right? But I really, really got my calling the day that Dr. Martin Luther King died. And I was 14 years old. I locked myself in the bathroom to cry. And my father kept knocking on the door and saying, you okay in there? Um, and I just kept saying yes. I didn't want him to know that I was in there crying. And I very distinctly felt that it was really important for me to do this work for me to do race work. And at that point, I said, no. There's no way I'm going to do that. Somebody just got killed for doing that. So no. I'm 14 years old. I'm thinking, there's no way. I fought it for the longest time. But I started to do diversity when I was an adult. And every time I did diversity, I would end up talking about race. Out of all the diversity issues that we have, that's one of the most difficult for organizations to have a conversation about, to talk about, or even to bring someone in. To this day, it's hard for them to bring someone in to talk specifically about race. We'll talk about gender issues, women's issues, LGBTQ issues. All of those issues are extremely important, and so is race. Right. But we don't always invite people into the organizations to have those conversations. So people stumble over those conversations all the time. They don't know what to do with them. They don't know where to take it. And even the people who want to do something, you know, there are a lot of leaders that want to do something. A lot of them don't even know what to do. Mm -hmm. So my work is really helping people to become race literate so that they can find their own language. I mean, part of the problem with this issue of race in our country is we are a country that's obsessed with being the hero of the story. If we're not the hero of the story, we don't want to tell the story. <laughs> and you can't find a solution to a problem until you realize that you are the problem. 
Yeah, Milagros, that was, I was just going to ask you, I did get a chance to watch your TED Talk presentation, and I would invite the audience here today and also in our viewing audience to check it out. But one of the things you said in there that really struck me, you said in regards to race, silence is killing all of us. Can you tell me what, that, what you mean by that? Yeah, sure. So um, we don't want to have these conversations because they are difficult conversations to have. And more often than not, they're difficult conversations to have because racism happens at a lot of different levels. There is the systemic level, there is the interpersonal level, there is the internalized level. We've all been raised under one umbrella around the issue of race. We just absorbed it differently based on where we are in the caste system and what we have been assigned in that caste system. So very often people don't have enough information with which to have a good coherent conversation where people don't end up feeling guilty or ashamed or angry because most of us have not been educated to be race literate. Once you become race literate, the, it changes the conversation. The thing about that is that none of us is perfect. We're all gonna make mistakes and it's important to not silence your voice around this because everyone's voice counts. For the most part, everyone has something to say about race. And it shows up, and when it shows up, it doesn't show up in the nicest of ways. Okay. So it's important to keep talking about it, to keep bringing it up, to know that we're not always gonna get it right, but not to stay silent. Because the silence is what's keeping the dysfunction in place. It's important for us to begin to have those conversations. You have to shine a light on that. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, and I was going to um, rather me, I have other questions, but yes. I thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to engage you, the audience, and give you a chance not only to ask questions, but maybe to share your stories and to get Milagros' um, take on this. One of the things that Milagros uh, talks about in her programs is not just identifying the problem, but that has to be the first step, but that once you identify the problem, there are steps that can be taken, and maybe you could have the opportunity to share some of those next steps. Sure. So, sure. is there a question out there that anybody has? So, my main passion has been working with children and families, and I have also taught teachers. And I am always looking for the best ways to help teachers, help children, and help families. I work with the youngest ones. Um, so I know I'm going to read your books now, <laughs> for sure. And I'm wondering, do you have recommendations for teachers who are working with the youngest children? Sure, absolutely. So when you're working with, uh, with young children, first of all, um, Oh, actually, there's, uh, I, I want to say this because there's, there's a wonderful article that was written in the New York Times a long time ago, and it's called, Is Your Baby Racist? Okay, so I would suggest reading that for, for starters. But um, So children come in with this, um, this sense of innocence, um, and we find out, we found out through research now that they also come in racialized. And so having conversations on race with young children is really important. Um, talking about the garden and how all the flowers in the garden come in a different color and they're all beautiful and they're all important. You know, things like that where you can start having those conversations. Because the truth is, if you look at it from a broader perspective, nature loves diversity. It right. loves diversity. It does not make anything the same thing twice, okay? We are the ones that have a problem, and that problem is historical. And we now know through- Is it also learned? It, yeah, it's absolutely learned, but, but what I wanna say about that is, I'm so sorry, I, the, you know, my ear is very pinned to my, <laughs> to my head, so my mic is a little bit off. But, um, so um, it's, it's inherited and it's passed on. Mm -hmm. And we learn it from the people around us. Um, the, the thing about that learning is that we now know from research that trauma gets passed on. And traumatized people traumatize others. 
And we now know through research that not only does trauma get passed on, but it gets passed on for six generations, including, not including the original traumatized generation, which is a full seven generations. Okay. When it comes to um, abuse, physical, emotional, financial, all those things traumatize people. And so what happens is if we don't have the awareness, we can't shift it. Once we have the awareness though, we can look at life from a different perspective. We come up with new and creative ideas and we look at, you know, like Einstein said, you cannot solve, and I'm paraphrasing, but basically you can't solve your problems with the same mind that made it. Right. You need to think differently. And how we think differently around this topic is by becoming better educated around the topic. And I saw a question in the back, right here. Um, I wonder, as I thought through race all of my life, um, if maybe it's not, if racism is at one level, but then differences, values, uh, how you were brought up, um, I, circumstances, experiences, if that deeper level is what puts people apart as much and it somehow or another has been labeled racism or perhaps there are groups of people, whether white or yellow or black or whatever, that we suddenly say, I'm not enough like them, I become afraid. Is there a deeper level in your research that you have found or is that really truly race? Right. So, um, race has a very specific history, and it's that historical context that separates it from some of these other things like xenophobia, which is the fear of strangers. Um, you know, there are all kinds of fears that people have, and all kinds of ways that we've found to separate ourselves from one another and othering people. Okay, mm -hmm. those, they're the other, right? So, that, so there's a level at which that's natural to us, okay? And then imposed over that, you have the issue of race. Right. Well, so it's at a, a whole other level. level. Absolutely. Yeah. Because most of us have, or at least I do, I have friends of all races, but I have friends of all races, but I'm not friendly with everyone of every race. Mm -hmm. And right. I think then is it racism or is it that deeper connection, those deeper values? Right, and so, you know, we tend to make friends with, right around where we are, right? We make friends at work and we make friends with our neighbors and so on and so forth. So if we have a country that is, is segregated, it still is, okay? Um, and so you're going to more likely have more friends be with, the, with the people who are around you. If we had less segregation, then you would probably have, you know, friends of, but when it comes to this issue, particularly in this country, you have to be intentional. And I would say that, that was, that's part of the mission of Prime Time for Women. Right in our mission statement, we talk about bringing women together from diverse backgrounds to explore new possibilities and new opportunities. So at this time, we're just about ready to go to a commercial break. I just wanted to uh, let you know eight essentials to a race conversation and 11 reasons to become race literate. These are two of Milagros's three books. I hope that you'll take a look at these books. You can buy them at Amazon. And uh, let's please give her a warm welcome. A warm thank you for being here today. We'll be right back after this commercial break. How do you help people in three states breathe easier? Make sure they can be seen faster and easier. Just for you, more primary care physicians, PAs, and nurse practitioners. Meritus. Healthcare transformed. How do you give a patient healthier health care? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus Healthcare Transformed. Any home can be improved by better Wi-Fi. That's why Antietam Broadband offers smart Wi-Fi, a reliable signal throughout your home enhanced by an array of features. We optimize your network through smart modem placement and ensure maximum coverage for all your devices. And a handy app lets you monitor network performance, access parental controls, and more. Improve your home with Antietam Smart Wi-Fi. 
call or visit AntietamBroadband.com to learn more. I'm here for the escape room. When does the game start? Welcome to the escape room. Look for clues. It's getting hot in here. It's 451. Got it! <gasps> that was real! The eight ball. It's missing. Got it. They knew everything about us. That's why they chose us. Digital customers, tune to channel one to get started. The Humane Society of Washington County offers refuge to domestic animals in need. Animals like Romeo. Starved and abandoned in the bitter cold, Romeo is not the first animal found in this desperate condition, and he won't be the last. You can help give innocent animals another chance. Even a $10 monthly donation can help the Humane Society of Washington County act quickly to save lives. Can the animals count on you? Visit hswcmd.org to learn more. If you add it up, 12 spots a year for 25 years, close to 300 different commercials I've used Antietam Cable Production for. In, in terms of, of the experience with the production department, you know, the truth is you know, we've become friends because we've done it so often. The staff is very, very professional. Uh, they make it easy for me to do the spot. That's the biggest thing. And we, we have a lot of fun doing it. And it works. It brings people to the dealership. And that's all I can ask. Now on demand. Where did you get that beetle? It's yours, kid. What are you? So you have no idea where he came from? No idea. Bumblebee, you must protect Earth and its people. Take it down! I found me! Digital custom. Turn to channel one to get started. Only you can save us, B. Bumblebee. Rated PG-13. Order now on demand. Antietam Broadband brings you a unique new program that tells the story of the Battle of Antietam in a different way. Antietam, A Soldier's View, takes you hour by hour and places you into the areas where they fought. Antietam, A Soldier's View, airs Mondays through Wednesdays and Saturdays and Sundays only on Antietam Broadband's Channel 6 and 806. Business Internet just reached the tipping point. Tip your hat to the information age. Get a gig for business and upload robust files, complex videos, and compound reports at the same time, in real time, while saving time for DISA and data. Get a gig. Got it? Now get going. Get flight gigabit for business backed by 24-7 tech support from Antietam Broadband. Call us today. When you elevate nurses, you reduce an entire town's blood pressure. Specialized medical training means top nurses, top care. Meritus, healthcare transformed. How do you give a patient healthier health care? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus, healthcare transformed. Welcome back to Prime Time for Women. It is my pleasure to welcome Morgan Plummer to today's show. So uh, Morgan is an architect of sorts. Architects, they plan and design and uh, buildings around the visions of their clients. They don't actually do the building, but they create blueprints that show possibilities. So Morgan is a life coach and is an architect and works with women to help design the programs that create the lives that they want. Please give Morgan a warm welcome. So Morgan, thank you so much for being here of today. Thank you for having me. Sure. So can you tell us a little bit about your journey from where you were and to where you got to be in creating your own business as a life coach? Sure. Uh, you know, we all have these stories that kind of push us forward and what is it that I should be doing? And for me, in 2006, I was in a car accident that should have taken my life. Um, I broke my femur, my pelvis, my tailbone, my arm, my face. I ruptured my bladder. I'm really good at forecasting the weather now. And <laughs> through that experience, though, I knew, you know, I shouldn't have walked away from that. And I was saved for a reason. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. 
So for years, I was like, you know, there's got to be more than just like sitting at a desk pushing paper. There's got to be more for me. And what really propelled or pushed me forward was when I had my first son. And um, at the time, he was a baby and he was nice to me. He wasn't four years old and crazy. I wanted to be home with him. Um, but that was really like what pushed me into, you know, this is my time to finally do that thing that I'm meant to be doing, which is we're going to talk about the tips that I, you know, really pushed me into a purpose-filled life, what it what got me here. And that was really the the story or the the thing that finally pushed me outside of my comfort zone to get to me to where I am now. So Morgan, in your uh, life coaching uh, job, you um, frequently share your own struggles. And um, I was, uh, as you're trying to help people with their struggles, right. how does that help your clients when you talk about what you've been through and what, what does that mean to them? Sure. So the biggest, um, the things for me that make the biggest um, impact are integrity and authenticity. I don't show up for my people, my clients, my audience, unless it feels 100% good. Um, I'm not here to fake it till you make it. I don't believe in that. So I share the good and the bad, the ugly. I share when I make mistakes. Um, I share when I yell at my kids too much, whatever that might be. But it's those stories where you create that connection with somebody, all you need is to evoke that piece of emotion and then you have that connection forever. And that's what I'm looking for when I'm working with people. So we go through this story of life and sometimes we're going through these experiences and we feel really alone because we don't talk about them or we don't know how to talk about it or share it. But I think or feel if I can share the things that I'm going through and help another woman just tell her, or show her that she's not alone in that experience, then I'm doing my job. I need to show somebody that they can get to the other side of the mountain too. Okay, that's great. And uh, what um, uh, role do, does fear and regret play? And I've heard you say in the past that um, sometimes these negative, mo these negative feelings can actually be motivations for improving. Is that, is that true? Do you believe that? I would agree. And I, I was just listening to some, something on my way here today. Um, we don't change our circumstances or or change the way we feel about something unless we experience crisis or insight. So you need that experience, whether you're just unhappy with where you are in life or that experience that you've gone through or that trial or tribulation, you're not going to be pushed to the point of making a difference in your life until you experience that, right? Like, I'm tired of being sick and tired. And sometimes you need that experience, even if it feels really hard to get to the other side and find the light of the situation. And what are some of the action items or the tips that you suggest to help people get to the other side? Right. I believe, so there's four things. Mindset, belief, commitment, and taking action. And mindset is everything. If you don't believe, if you don't change that inner talk, you're never going to change or accomplish the things that you want to do. And again, if you don't believe in yourself, I could give you all the tools and strategies you need to find success, but if you don't believe that you can do it, you're not going to do it. And then taking action. We starve between idea and execution. You actually have to put one foot in front of the other and make the changes. You have to do the things to get you to where you want to go. And um, what are some of the action uh, items or takeaways? What do you think want people to take away from here today? What do they need to practice to get to the okay. other side? One of my favorites, I want you to raise your hand if you've ever said really mean things to yourself. I don't like how this looks. This doesn't feel good. I'm not good enough, right? Yeah. It's that limiting inner self-talk, okay? Would you say those things to your spouse, your child, your friend? Because if you wouldn't say them to them, you shouldn't say them to yourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind next time you're really like toning in on that inner mean girl. Just knock her feet right out from under her, okay? <laughs> the next would be gratitude, because the more you find gratitude, the more you have to be grateful for. Sometimes, you know, like, we all experience that anxiety, that chest pain sometimes when life is busy. I take a step back and I ask myself, what am I grateful for today? My kids are healthy. My bulldogs are comfortable on the couch. My husband's coming home safe, whatever that is. But look at the things that you're grateful for and just, you know, I'm grateful that it's beautiful out today. I'm grateful for this opportunity to be here. You're all here for a reason today, right? Are you taking care of yourself? 
I think self-care is a buzzword right now, but really, are you taking care of yourself? Because as women, and men too, it's hard to put the work aside or the dishes or the laundry and do the things that you need to do for you. Are you exercising? Are you getting your nails done just because you want to get your nails done? Are you going for a walk? Are you coming here because you know you can put things aside and make the time for it? You have to take care of yourself before you take care of anybody else. Because when your cup is full, it's overflowing into everybody else's cup. Okay. Are you making a commitment to personal development? So the biggest shift in my life was when I found personal development. You know, self-help books. Um, John Maxwell, I'm part of John Maxwell's team, so that was a really big asset for me. Leadership books, um, mindset books, money mindset, self-help. Um, the, the, it's endless. But if you can find those resources that you gravitate to, if you're having a bad day, all you need to do is listen to a five-minute YouTube video and your entire day changes. You can do books, podcasts, YouTube. It's at your fingertips and you don't even have to pay a dollar for it, okay? And then find your community. Go look for people because, again, the same thing that you're feeling, somebody else is feeling. And these events that Bernadette is doing, this is, this is huge in our community to find other like-minded people that's when movements happen, and that's when change happens. That's when personal growth happens. And I think that's such a good point, because it's find like-minded people, but find them in, di in diversity, too. Right. Uh, you know, you, you can find like-minded people from different socioeconomic groups, from different races, from different religions. It's the opportunity to share your story that mm -hmm. really makes that difference. You know, we have just one minute or two minutes left. Maybe we could take a question from sure, the audience. Yeah. Does anybody have a question for Morgan? Let's hear it, a good one. Good question. <laughs> Anybody? Yeah. So I just turned 60 this year. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> um, my biggest thing, I have followed my passion in my early years, so now I'm in this part of life, whatever this is. And so if, are there things in particular that you can speak to me? I've retired from my passion and now I'm in the midst of saying yes to things to try to figure out what is next. So what's resonating with what you said is the taking action. Um, so what can you say to somebody who's in this part of life? Yeah, so I would ask, if time and money were of no object, what would you do? Right? I don't know. So I really don't. one of my favorite activities is journaling. And it's not like, dear diary, my husband was mean to me today. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about. But what, just like word vomit on the paper. All of the things that, you know, what makes me happy? What do I enjoy? What don't I enjoy? What doesn't light me up? And sometimes you just need to get all of that out. And then I would get a third party, third party perspective because you can't see the picture in the frame. Okay? So go to somebody and say, you know, what is my strongest asset? What am I maybe not so good at? Because you, you want to play to your gifts. But it's self-discovery. Just because you pursued your passion up till now doesn't mean you don't have another one. You just have to slow down and find out what that thing is now. Yeah. Okay, Morgan, thank you so much for being here you. today. And we're so glad that you were able to share those tips, those take-home messages with us. We'll be right back after this commercial break. How do you help people in three states breathe easier? make sure they can be seen faster and easier. Just for you, more primary care physicians, PAs, and nurse practitioners. Meritus, healthcare transformed. How do you give a patient healthier healthcare? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus, healthcare transformed. Want the latest new release movies today? With Movies On Demand, you'll get these titles before Netflix and Redbox. I'm a drug mule and the cartel. Family's the most important thing. Bumblebee, you must protect Earth and its people. Take it down! This isn't something that a vice president really does, is it? No, it is now. Watch the newest collection of movies on demand before Netflix and Redbox. This changes everything. TiVo is here. 
Search and control your cable channels, on demand and streaming video with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home. Welcome to the ultimate TV experience. Call or visit AntietamBroadband.com to change everything with TiVo. If you add it up, 12 spots a year for 25 years, close to 300 different commercials I've used Antietam Cable Production for. In terms of, of the experience with the production department, you know, the truth is you know, we've become friends because we've done it so often. The staff is very, very professional. Uh, they make it easy for me to do the spot. That's the biggest thing. And we, we have a lot of fun doing it. And it works. It brings people to the dealership. And that's all I can ask. The internet just got an upgrade. One gig internet is being hailed as a tipping point, revolutionary, and a game changer. No, not that game. This game. The critics are going all in on one gig internet. Push your internet to the limit, then rake in the rewards. Get blazing fast speed up to one gigabit per second with flight gigabit from Antietam Broadband. Call 301-797-5000 today. Drug mule from the cartel. You were never a real father. I was on the road 60 hours a week to provide for this family. Sorry, sweetie, I can't stay if he's here. I didn't deserve compassion. I didn't deserve forgiveness. Family's the most important thing. This is the last one, so help me God. The Mule. Rent it now on demand. Digital customers, tune to Channel One to get started. The Humane Society of Washington County offers refuge to domestic animals in need, animals like Romeo. Starved and abandoned in the bitter cold, Romeo is not the first animal found in this desperate condition, and he won't be the last. You can help give innocent animals another chance. Even a $10 monthly donation can help the Humane Society of Washington County act quickly to save lives. Can the animals count on you? Visit hswcmd.org to learn more. When you elevate nurses, you reduce an entire town's blood pressure. Specialized medical training means top nurses, top care. Meritus. Healthcare transformed. How do you give a patient healthier health care? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus. Healthcare transformed. Welcome back to Prime Time for Women. Our next guest, Simon Kazravian, is a mother, a brand new grandmother, wife, and an incredible fitness expert. But she's not your mother's fitness expert, as the saying goes. Simon uh, manages to uh, parlay her love of hula hooping and her desire to be fit into an incredible. Uh, career as a fitness instructor all through um, Columbia, Maryland, and the surrounding areas. Please welcome Simon to the stage. How you doing? Thanks for being here. So Simon, you have a new grandbaby? Whoops. Yes. <laughs> Great. And did you have a grandson or a granddaughter? I have a grandson. Okay. I became grandma last week. Last week. Is this yeah, your first yes, grandbaby? Uh, yes. She's an inspiration. Okay. He came um, early, two weeks early. Two weeks yeah. early. Okay. Uh, yeah, on, on my script it said soon to be grandmother, but I knew that her daughter-in-law was, uh, it was your daughter or daughter-in-law? My daughter. Daughter was in labor, so. Okay, well, we're so happy that you're here uh, and Thank that you. you've got to welcome your new grandbaby onto the scene. Um, so, uh, Simon, where are you originally? We know you're in Colombia now, but where are you from originally? I'm originally from Iran. Iran. I came to United States in 1984. In 1984. So you raised your family here? And yes. how many children do you have? I have three. My daughter, oldest son, and I have two sons. Okay, great. Now I have a grandson. And now, a great, right, right, right. <laughs> did you hula hoop as a little girl? Is that something they did in Iran? A um, little bit, not, not, not too much. Not too much. So when did you start hula hooping? The first uh, hula hoop I picked up been six years ago when I went to Iran. Six years ago? Six years ago. 
that I heard that my mom got sick and me and my sister traveled to Iran to be by her side. And uh, I was like two weeks, I was there. After two weeks, I feel like depressed and like sad. I, every day I cry and I couldn't eat or sleep. One day my cousin invited us to their house and I went to their house and I saw she had a big hole up in her room. I said, can I try it? She said, yes. I start to do hole up in. I feel like I can do it. I feel right away it comes to me and I did it. I feel good. And I asked her if you, I can have one of them. <laughs> and she, she said, of course. And she bought me one and she bring me to next day. And since then, I start to do hollow hopping every day by, like, I, I went to backyard and just do hollow hope for hours and pray for her. Okay, but, that's great. So yeah. it was this whole life-changing thing yeah, when you found that Yeah, it was like meditation to me. And, and what are the particular health benefits of hula hooping? Hula hooping is not just a fun exercise, it's good for... It is fun. It is fun. It's right, not right. like just <laughs> fun. It's a lot of health benefit in it for you. It's uh, strengthening your core muscles and tone your altered muscle of your body, give you flexibility, coordination, endurance. And it's good for your heart to raise your heart rate. And also, it's good for your brain. You can create the tricks and movement. And uh, it burns like 400 calories an hour. Wow. That, yes. that, that, okay, that's better than and, jogging for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and good meditation and great relaxation. And what are some of the other health benefits that you get uh, in addition to those benefits? What that, is, uh, that's yeah. meditation is, and give you relaxation and also build your confidence. Too. Build your confidence. That's great. So, uh, Simon, did you bring your hula hoops today? Yeah, I brought tons of hula hoops. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a break here. And when Simon comes back, we will um, do the, uh, have Simon do, give us a demonstration and invite some of you on stage to join me. How do you help people in three states breathe easier? Make sure they can be seen faster and easier. Just for you, more primary care physicians, PAs, and nurse practitioners. Meritus. Healthcare transformed. How do you give a patient healthier health care? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus. Healthcare transformed. Deep down, you know it's true. Superheroes and supervillains are real. You can't beat the beast! We'll show the world what we are capable of. Don't do this. Are you ready? Glass. Digital customers, tune to Channel One to get started. Business Internet just reached the tipping point. Tip your hat to the information age. Get a gig for business and upload robust files, complex videos, and compound reports. At the same time, in real time, while saving time. For DISA and data, get a gig. Got it? Now get going. Get flight gigabit for business backed by 24-7 tech support from Antietam Broadband. Call us today. Antietam Broadband brings you a unique new program that tells the story of the Battle of Antietam in a different way. Antietam, A Soldier's View, takes you hour by hour and places you into the areas where they fought. Antietam, A Soldier's View airs Mondays through Wednesdays and Saturdays and Sundays only on Antietam Broadband's Channel 6 and 806. If you add it up, 12 spots a year for 25 years, close to 300 different commercials I've used Antietam Cable Production for. In, in terms of, of the experience with the production department, you know, the truth is you know, we've become friends because we've done it so often. The staff is very, very professional. Uh, they make it easy for me to do the spot. That's the biggest thing. And we, we have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> 
and it works. It brings people to the dealership. And that's all I can ask. I'm here for the escape room. When does the game start? Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the escape, escape room. room. Look for clues. It's getting hot in here. It's 451. Got it! <sighs> that was real! The eight ball. It's missing. Got it. They knew everything about us. That's why they chose us. <laughs> Digital customers, tune to Channel One to get started. The Humane Society of Washington County offers refuge to domestic animals in need. Animals like Romeo. Starved and abandoned in the bitter cold, Romeo is not the first animal found in this desperate condition, and he won't be the last. You can help give innocent animals another chance. Even a $10 monthly donation can help the Humane Society of Washington County act quickly to save lives. Can the animals count on you? Visit hswcmd.org to learn more. When you elevate nurses, you reduce an entire town's blood pressure. Specialized medical training means top nurses, top care. Meritus, healthcare transformed. How do you give a patient healthier healthcare? Give her doctor, nurse, PA, and therapist the same health record. Introducing electronic health records. One patient, one record, one click. Meritus Healthcare Transformed. Welcome back. We're here with Simon Kadravian. She is going to demonstrate her super hula hooping skills. And after a short demonstration, she'll invite some of the audience up to join the fun. Take it away, Simon. Okay, who's coming up to hula hoop? Come on up here. What's your Morgan? Shift your right. Simon saying shift your weight. Okay. Yes. Huh? I'm gonna go to the side. I'm sorry. To the side, yes. And also, you can coordinate your arm like bring it to the side. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was great.